Okay, today we're going to have a look at um, setting up and calibrating our ESCs. So I've got my radio, the Turnergy um, R9X set up, ready to go. Now it stays on, okay, on for the whole way. So I'll put that in view there. And these are Turnergy Plus. These are all, um, they're all numbered, one, two, three, four. So that's forward, front left, front right, rear right, rear left. And I've also uh, colour coded on here with a texter, number one, two, three, and four. Okay, so our pins are here. Uh, we've got D9, D10, D3, D11. Now there's not a lot of information to tell you which one's which, which one's motor one, two, three, and four. So I'll show you how how we get around that as well. So what we do, we're in the ESC calibration uh, mode, which is we've fixed our sketch up. So our throttle is up full on our little unit there. We get pick number one. Our signal is on the inside. So we'll take this guy here. We put one on there. And we connect our battery. Now you'll hear the sound. That sound. Down. And that. And then we, whoops. And we disconnect. And that's it. That's how you do it. So we take that guy off. We get number two. Okay, same one. Put him on there, throttle up. Try not to knock it over. You'll hear the nice little noise it makes. And two. Down. Three. And that's it. That's calibrated. So battery off, take him off. We get number three. Signal on the inside of the board. Throttle up. Connect. One, two, down. One, two, three, disconnect. So we're going to set up our ESCs now. These are the Turnergy Plus and this is a little programming card you get. So we'll, um, we'll show you how that works. So all the ESCs are on the board, uh, on the copter. They're all plugged in. So we just plug our battery in and all we do is we get in. It's got a little sketch here. That's what I like about these guys here. Stick that there. Hopefully we can see that. Plug in our battery. And there's our lights. So we've got our brake off, which we brakes are for planes. We're using gliders, so we don't want to have a brake on. Battery type is a lipo. Um, the cutout type is soft. The um, cutout voltage is high. And what that means is you, it's your, if each cell has got a minimum, so that's the highest, so you don't kill your battery. Your start mode, I've got a soft mode for these. Um, you can have a very soft or normal. I have soft. Timing is high. Um, these play music. You've got 16 different tunes. Why you'd want to do that, I don't know. And the governor. So the governor is off. Okay. So if you wanted to change one of those, you just move you move this up and down. And, of course, this is your sideways one. Okay. So um, that's all you do. Cutout voltage is high. So three lights over there, and then when you want it, you just press OK, and that's how you do it. So we've got three, we've got number three back that way, nothing in that guy. So now we'll turn our battery off, we'll put number two in there, in the right way, always helps. Just so get our battery in. And there we go, three, number three, number two, number three, nothing on our music and the governor off. Now I have had this where had a bit of an issue. Where's number three? Hadn't had a bit of an issue and it's reprogrammed all this, so it doesn't hurt. 
and you'll um, every so often just to check and make sure if something's playing up with the board. It's always better to look silly than be silly, I find. So again, three, high, medium, high, nothing, and governor off. So all good, that's number three. All right, so we're back again, and here is a bit of information on how to work out which motor goes where. Now, if you're like me and you get a couple of these boards, you find that the motor pinouts and all the information's not there. So, we don't need to know about that. We know on the board here we've got D9, 10, 3 and 11. So I don't know how they work those numbers out, but anyway, go figure. So what we've got is, what we need to know is that when the copter tilts down and tilts that way, that this motor wants to always come up. So we're looking for two things here. We put it on here and we work out which way the um, which way the motor is going to spin. So if we've got it on the right connection, this guy here, and I'm going to do one at a time. If you've got it on the right connection there, what will happen? When it tilts down, it'll speed up, and when it tilts that way, because the lower motor always wants to speed up. So we'll see what happens. So at the moment we've got it on, on uh, which one do we have it on? We've got it on D9. So we've got our little unit on. Okay, so we now we arm it. Work out which way to arm it. So it's now armed. So it's now that is the only motor going. So we take it up a bit, give it some rev. So it's a back motor, it's obviously a back one. So that motor is number three, so you can tell it would be it's revving up, meaning it's a back motor. And it's revving up meaning so that one. It's number three. So D9 is motor three. And we'll disarm. Now put that one on the next motor pin, which is let's really fine print that. The ten. So we plug it in again. Don't forget we've only got one motor going. So he's armed, gives him a bit of revs. So it's a front one. And it's number two. Does that make sense? Front because it's speeding up. And when I go that way, when I go that way, try to speed up so it's number two. So D10 is motor two. The next one along is. D3 and D11. So all on there. Okay. Arnie. Getting a bit of revs. So again, it's the front one. And that's number one. That's doing how it, what it should. So that one there is motor one. Disarm and plug and just for luck. As I said, rather look silly than be silly. Should be motor four. So what it should do is when I lift it that way it should speed up and when I lift, raise it or drop it down that way it should speed up. So there's motor four, yep, and it should. Motor four. All 
working as it should. Now, a lot of people have a few issues about how do they know the motor's going the right way. I'll show you what I do. Get a propeller, any propeller, and now I'm flying these um, these carbon fibre guys here, and they're fairly tight on there. So don't put that on; just put that on. Okay, so that's it in there. And then what you do, just sitting there loose. Arm it. And you'll see which way it goes. Okay, so that guy's going the right way. Now I know all these are going the right way. Just arm. And that's all you do. Put that guy in over there. Stick. Well, we'll try a different propeller. <coughs> one I prepared earlier. So you just stick that on there, arm it. Now, of course it's not going to do anything if you put your fingers in there. Okay, but that shows you how you how I check my props. That's all I do.